Hey, I'm Tyann, the queen of guest experience at Touch Day, and this video is a quick explainer of Memo, our guest notification tool. Memo helps you to save time managing your guests and their questions by sending important info to your guests at the right time with the right method. So we created Memo to help you proactively communicate with your guests in an automatic way that has a human touch. With Memo, you can send messages to your guests at specific times based on their arrival and departure dates. You can send by email or by SMS text or both methods if you want. So we've created templates that are ready for you to use if you like, or you can tailor them to your business. And going one step further, you can even create your own custom templates too. So I'm going to show you how to use those templates and create your own template as well. So let me make my face a little bit smaller and I'm going to move it out of the way here. So your memo messages are in the memo section of your dashboard. You get there right here, memo, in your navigation bar at the top. And the message templates, when you first open it, you probably don't have any in here, so you'll need to add them. You can add email by simply clicking on any of these or add an SMS template. You click on any of those and it shows up. So let's just add the grocery delivery one right now. So we have our template name, goes to the primary guest, the scheduled time, two weeks before arrival date, so you can help them plan, at 12 o'clock. Now this is the time of your property, not the time of the guest or for you. So here is our message. We've got, um, shall we fridge the fill the fridge and stock the cupboards for your arrival? More details in our touch day guidebook. And we've got the invitation link. However, I really want the link directly to the grocery section in my guidebook here instead. So I'm going to delete that. And then I'm going to go over here to deep links and I'm going to search for grocery. Here we go, grocery shopping and add. Now this is going to have the deep link directly to that section in my guidebook. I check the character limit, I am good here, and I'm gonna have submit. Okay, so I've just added a template and I've edited it to how I want it to. The next thing we're gonna do is add a custom template. So at my places, we have hot tubs that are locked up. So we wanna do a custom message telling the guest about the hot tub lock code. So I've named my template. It's gonna to go to the primary guest. I'm going to send it at a scheduled time and I want it to be on arrival day. So I'm gonna put zero days before the arrival and I'm gonna choose a time after check-in time. Check-in time's four o'clock. So I'm gonna choose five o'clock. It's going to always send and we're going to say hi field code and I want my guest name. So I'm gonna come down here, find my guest first name and add hi first name. Um, our hot tub is locked for safety. The code is, now each of the houses has a different code. So what we're gonna do here is I've created a custom field code. You can do this in your guidebook and this one is per property. So hot tub lock code is what I created and I'm gonna insert it there so that the correct code for the correct property will show up in the message. Now, if you wanna know how to make the custom fields, you're gonna to head to the knowledge base for that information and video. Okay, so back to this template we're creating. So hi, first name, our hot tub is locked for safety. The code is, um, and then I also want to say, please, be sure to watch our um, fun videos on using the hot tub. And now I'm gonna put the deep link to that section in my guidebook. There we go. And then we're gonna say, enjoy and submit. That's it, it's easy peasy. Uh, once you have your flow in place, you can send it to your guest, sit back, enjoy the peacefulness of fewer phone calls and email notifications because you are answering the guest questions before they ask them. So for a detailed how-to, watch our longer memo explainer video next.